An hour ago, I found iFetch, and iFetch is now on our systems, right? So if you update your system, you'll see that the Atomix root, ZSH and FISH, three, well, uh, shells that you can use, right? And in this particular, well, the config of each of those shells, in my case, bash RC, you'll find an extra line and it's called high fetch. And yeah, it rolls on through the ecosystem of Arcanix because we have Arcanix tweak tool. So if we update our system or update your system, you get a new version in of the Arch Linux 3 tool. If you type ATT or you launch it via the menu, you'll see that there is a new line, new button better, a switch that you can use in the terminal fun. High fetch is on, as you just saw. It's always interesting to have sublime text open at that at the moment. All the rest we don't need, close other tabs. So this is my bash RC, could have been my ZSHRC or my fish. And in the system it says, uh, just get rid of it. And it ends like this. And then say, sure, why not, back on. Well, maybe we should first test it. So control T, nothing, is also nice, right? If you like nothing, it's nothing, fine. And you have high fetch, control T, that's our look, uh, our Arcanix look that I made in the video previously. So one number down. And lolcat, yeah, it's kind of, it's pointless because it's gonna change the color then, right? It's gonna be lolcat. So each time, sorry, control T, each time it will color differently as you see. So that's lolcat for you and I just kept it in but to be consistent with all the rest, but that's the, not the point. The point is you can change these things and make a different JSON file. And if I don't know what you're ta I'm talking about, go watch the other video. So there you go. You got yourself a new extra fun thing, like right? it enables um, yeah, a, a tool that shows you all kinds of utilities and, and settings of your machine. Something to switch. Okay, enjoy.